install these set of precision uh, link bracket adapters for the cat. Um, I tried to take this off and get two. You can get two link brackets or two link bags like this. You can actually take this bag off. You can get two because this has a notch in it, this style right here. You can get it over the uh, tail light as far back. Just run this bracket all the way till it goes right against this rivet right here in this corner for the first set, and then the second set will go in there. <clears throat> but I want to be able to put uh, a jerry can on there, and then I have the one that is stackable. So I'm going to end up just doing the gas can and one of these instead of having two. Because I used, I used to run two of these. So I marked with, with a piece of tape where I want this, and it'll come with a template. So now we'll take these off. This is how they, you, you just get this piece, and then you have to buy a set of the link brackets to bolt on, and then they're flush. template that comes with the kit and I'm assuming that I'm assuming that you bend this over the tunnel it has a line right there That's a little bit better. That is a little bit better than this frog tape. The frog tape. Junk. Well, for this process anyways. Probably be, probably good for painting, but that's about it. So from the from the side of the tunnel to the heat exchanger is let's see, just about two and three quarters. So then we take this and two and three quarters is way over here. So we're we're clear. We can drill down through on both sides because the tunnel or the heat exchanger is is way over here. So we're good. Just want to verify. Once you drill down through and you hit that, it's no turning back after that. You're going to look at this pattern right here and you're going to line that up with the edge of the tunnel. And then position it where you want. I'm putting it right here because I'm going to run a, a gas can stackable with uh, a link bag. 
and then you come over on this side and you look at the same thing make sure that it's even on both sides of the tunnel and then I've squared it up with the tail light right here so and then it says and it says uh, position the position the uh, template with adhesive tape then make a mark on each cross with a punch and then drill a quarter inch hole bolt your link adapters on and then uh, with the supplied hardware now we gotta find a quarter inch drill bit and a center punch no turning back now you still on? you here? you in here with me? let me bring you a little closer I know you guys like to the center here But wiggling all right okay three more and then that's all she wrote it's always a little unnerving when you're drilling into your tunnel all right there's an old turning back drill right through it what the heck right There's one. Felt my heart drop. All right, let's see what kind of surprises we got. Pull out my trusty deburring tool. Clean up those holes. At least if they're wrong, they look nice, right? <laughs> Three on each side. Ooh. Nuts go on the bottom. Holes are dead on. I wonder who drilled those. Whew. Eh. Well, you, well, you did, idiot. Okay, what do we got? Let's see. What do we got here? Is that a four? Yep, she's a four. Extension with a 10 mil.
three more. Moment of truth. There she is. Then if I'm going somewhere that I need my fuel caddy, I can put that right on there like that. And there we go. some new rivets down in there but uh, okay. so if I'm just running this this will just go on that'll lock in like that looks good so then I got this bag and then this one will hold my spare belt and some other little things and then this one will carry my my hat oh, I use my hat up there then if I'm not, I want to take some fuel with me up in Canada. I'm going to just lock this in. And then I can put this one in. And there we go. Lock this up. All right, well, thanks for hanging around for this project. The sled is completely upgraded, everything that's on it now. Just got done doing the uh, DuPont Vespal slides and we're on to bigger and better things now. We, uh, we got some hurricane performance stuff to go on this, so stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. <laughs>